Hello, my name is Luke Bühler. I'm part of the MShell team and I want to show you in this presentation some of the features of the newest MShell version 3.0. Mostly how to compile a script, create a sys file and install it on a phone. We start with a fresh install of MShell 3.0. We're on a N95 Series 60 Symbian 3rd edition and as you can see this is the newest version because there is now folders which makes it very practical to work with mshell. See here's the root of C documents mshell is the root mshell folder but you can put your script wherever you want. This is very practical. So for example, here I have my tests to test mshell. Oh, they're not here. Okay. Um, I'll show it on the script called Rollit, which demonstrates one of the newest modules that we built in, which is Accelerometer. And what you can see here is that I'm tilting my phone, but here I'm tilting it left, now I'm tilting it right, now I'm tilting it down, now I'm tilting it up, and flip it to quit it. Close the script. And now we want to do basically, which is the newest thing about MShell, and which everyone has been waiting for is the ability to compile scripts and that is done very easily by clicking on compile choose name of for the compiled script it's very practical to just take the same name that it was before and see to it that you don't have any white spaces in it okay now the compilation was successful we close the script and as you can see here we have a different symbol for the same script but if we open it we can't edit the source anymore as you can see but if we press go it still works just the same anyhow now this is just a max file this is not the compiled sys file this is not um, in the sense distributable that someone doesn't have to have the shell installed. If someone however has the shell installed, mshell, including their environment, but the shell is basically what you see here, you can also distribute this .max file and the person can run it without seeing your source code. Now you can send this to your computer Bluetooth Okay, we just received the file through Bluetooth and now we have to go to the website. It's the URL mshell.net make msys.aspx. Find it on the download makes this. Now browse for the file. You can also provide an icon file or zip files that will be also installed to your phone that you can um, which with which you can add files that are used in the application. App name roll it and here description we don't provide then the version we use version 1.0 vendor airbit and UID, UID 3 we do not provide because it will be extracted from the name then for the capabilities 
we use basic which is even more than we need and platform is series 63rd edition if you want to create a file that is has either extended or certified capabilities do not include M environment and click don't send this file so here we do like this because we use basic create a sys file and here it is and download it save file and here it is now we use bluetooth to send it we send the file through bluetooth to the phone found an inbox and you, as you see here is this roll it dot sys. We open it and immediately it asks us to install it. Since it's self signed there's the security warning. And as you can see here is the detailed name, the caption that we've entered before roll it application. And select the phone memory. and the installation is complete. Now we can browse to it and since we didn't provide our own icon it just uh, used the default icon we open it and here it is the application that we've just created using the accelerometer using the M runtime environment so this is how you create a sys file first mix then make a sys file out of it and also install it on the phone as I said M shell itself doesn't need to be installed since we included the M, M environment but it can be still installed on the same phone Enjoy the new version.